Welcome to the Hecker Family Homestead. Today, several months after the fact, we're finally going to talk about disaster number, what is this now, three? Disaster three. <sighs> Super frustrating. It was a day like any other day. We were minding our own happy little business, doing a load of laundry, when all of a sudden, water started trickling from here onto the floor. They cut out the floor here, actually after the fact, uh, thus exposing this, this old tile that's in the entryway here. Anyways, the water came here, warped our kitchen floor, and backed up our downstairs bathroom. Now the downstairs bathroom, we had just put in a, um, a new toilet. We had the plumber come out, put in a new toilet. Um, and if you remember, we had the septic tank pumped. We had um, the out, out of the house lines realigned because they were all wavy at first. So we paid a good chunk of money getting them lined up the right way. And this backup happened. So the bathroom that was almost done is now completely destroyed um, again because the water came out damaged here. We had filth and septic backup um, in the shower here. It leaked down through that um, vent there down into the crawl space which we just had encapsulated and clean and pretty so I was really angry about that as well. So we had this, but it didn't stop here, of course. It came out to this room. Now this room's kind of become a collect-all mess, but basically we are down to the subfloor here. Isn't that right, Baloo? Baloo doesn't mind. He says as long as we sweep it, he's okay. Anyways, the bathroom there leaked out all into this area here. Oh, what a mess. I don't even want to show it. It's such a mess. Anyhow, bathroom leaked over there and destroyed the floor here. So it had to get ripped up. In addition, the leaking up here ran out from our laundry machine onto the floor upstairs. And all that is carpet. Um, so they had to rip out the carpet up there and dehumidifiers were all in here. We went down to, um, uh-oh, dinner's ready. Stop this YouTube nonsense, time to make the kids dinner. So after that uh, mess of leakage of just excrement and disgustingness all throughout the downstairs of the house and water damage up on the upstairs, uh, we called the insurance company. They contacted a water mitigation uh, company who came out put in a bunch of dehumidifiers, ripped up the floor, and cut out the drywall that was affected. And yeah, that was, what, three months ago? So they did all that. And now we've been waiting ever since for them to put us on the schedule to get things reconstructed. We did the water mitigation, now it's time for the reconstruction portion. But everyone out here is just booked so we have no downstairs bathroom we have no flooring in that room so we're not even using that room it's just collecting dust uh, the upstairs we can use the uh, laundry machine again but it's got subfloor so we had to throw some rugs and stuff over there so as if that wasn't stressful enough dealing with all that water damage and issue that day we went up, we packed, because we, we couldn't live in the house. The, uh, we couldn't stay in the house. Um, we were still trying to deal with the original uh, water issues of the brown water that we were getting. Um, and getting actual constant flow, because our, our water pump itself was becoming an issue too. And we'd lose water pressure and have to wait for it to come back on. Was it the well? Was it the water pump? Uh, or the, the pump? Uh, so. Yeah, we were dealing with a whole bunch of stuff, so couldn't stay in the house. Um, insurance company, of course, was like, well, the house is not technically non-livable because you have a bathroom. 
but the dehumidifiers in the middle of summer with no air conditioner, because if you remember one of the previous disaster videos, that caught on fire. We couldn't stay. So I booked a hotel in um, one of the towns the next county over that was pet friendly, had a swimming pool. I thought, you know what? Insurance isn't going to pay for it. We are, but it's a weekend. We'll get the kids' swimsuits ready. We'll go out. We'll go swimming. We'll, we'll try to make lemonade out of lemons, right? So we get there. I show them my ID. And they say, we don't rent to locals. Just drove 45 minutes for that. Uh, never heard of that before. So instantly I'm thinking, what the heck kind of garbage is that? I Google it. That's a, that's a real thing. They can dis discriminate against local people. Um, so, hmm, interesting. Not a fan of that too much, but okay. You don't want my business, we'll move on. So we found a, a little hotel um closer to the house which actually worked out better it wasn't as long as a drive to come back in the morning and the evening to let the animals in and out because the animals still got to do their thing every day so we still had to come back to the house and let them in and out now we play the waiting game it's been three months when last i spoke with the water mitigation and restoration people they said they would need another four weeks before we can get on the schedule. It's been about three weeks, so I'm going to call them tomorrow. Um, Katrina and I went looking at carpet and different flooring options. Um, insurance company has been very good about this so far, as far as they're paying for the, the damage. Um, so, so far... Whoa, what's going on over there? The guineas are running from something. Sorry. Uh, one of the guineas is out of the one of the guinea fell is out of the net so they're freaking out they don't like that anyways uh, the insurance company so far has been pretty good about looking like they're gonna pay for everything so at least this is one disaster that is less on us paying out of pocket and good thing we pay for insurance every month um, but yeah when we get the new flooring in it will be so much nicer. I'll let you know. I'll, up, I'll do an update video when that actually happens. But that is disaster. I got to go through my old videos, find out if it's three or four. Gosh, it feels like five at this point. But yeah, just some more fun with this money pit of a house. Um, this video series was really meant to be uh, more of a how-to as far as our farming and doing uh, regenerative type things here on the farm. I wanted to take a permaculture course and, and get more involved in that, um, but we've just been so inundated with this little thing and that little thing on the house that we haven't had time to, to really do anything. Um, I guess that's not true. We managed somehow in this past year to... Yeah, it's been a year. Holy moly. The channel's a year old now. So we managed to get here from Germany. We managed to get a new car. Um, get the foundation repaired we did get a new ac installed i don't know if i've i've done a video on that but i'll, I'll do one here uh soon we managed to go through some guineas some chickens we got the roosters we got sheep we've got a new uh ram lamb the other day who's on quarantine uh, we're gonna start hatching our own chickens so yeah yeah actually you know what we are doing a lot i just feel like we could have done so much more over this year uh, if it weren't for the house, this house is dragging me down. Uh, but it's going to be beautiful. Every time I freak out and have to pay another bill, I come out and look at this view and kind of get right. So anyways, thanks for watching over the past year. Um, I appreciate your hanging with us. And here's to another exciting year at the Hecker Family Homestead. Let's see what we do next.